directly Brexit does not really impact on the work we do at the United Nations. That's a separate thing. Public international law, our status under international law, self-determination. Brexit doesn't impact on that aspect of, of, of the work we do at the international level. What is relevant is the wider and the broader international scene. Uh, I anticipate that this will become more important for Gibraltar once Brexit occurs. I think we will be looking more and more at international treaties, international conventions um, that we may seek to comply with, for example, in environmental protection, where we will lose, unfortunately, a lot of the good work that the EU does on environmental protection. But in many instances, EU work is driven by international conventions, uh, some of them adopted by, by, by the United Nations itself. And all of that will become much more re relevant to Gibraltar after Brexit. Likewise, the free trade and investment agreements that the UK will enter into once it recovers its sovereignty to be able to conclude trade agreements with third countries. Those will operate at the level of international law and therefore coming here and meeting different countries and different people here who, who operate and would be involved in the conclusion of such agreements or would be relevant players is also a relevant aspect going forward.